The Virgin Islands Party extended their congratulatory remark to the new Premier and his team and pledged their support to the government during a press conference held on Thursday, November 10th. One party member also spoke about his plans to retire after having served the country for the past 32 years. JTV News Walter Barrett has more. The mood was a solemn one on Thursday afternoon as members of the Virgin Islands Party came together for their first joint public appearance since the general election results were announced on Tuesday, November 8th. As the press conference got underway, chaired by VIP consultant Carvin Malone, former Premier and present District 9 representative Honorable Ralph T. O'Neill said that he made several attempts to reach Premier Honorable D. Orlando Smith but was unsuccessful. However, Honorable O'Neill publicly congratulated the Premier and the NDP team on their victory. I wish to congratulate the Premier, uh, Dr. The Honorable, um, other <coughs> The Dr. The Honorable Dan D. Orlando. Smith, D. Orlando Smith. I tried to get him as the practice in another constitutional democracies like us. I tried to get him to congratulate him as soon as it was clear that he was the next premier, but. Up to yesterday, I was trying to get him when I thought he was home, but I didn't get an answer on the phone. I couldn't even leave a message. But I, I wish to congratulate him and his team and look forward to working with them in the new House of Assembly. Honorable Julian Fraser, who retained his seat as representative for the 3rd District, also offered congratulatory remarks to the new NDP government and he commended the 7th District Representative, who with the NDP's win also took on the portfolios of Deputy Premier and Minister of Natural Resources and Labour. The District Representative went on to state that he sees Dr. Pickering as Premier of the Virgin Islands one day. The ruling party, the National Democratic Party, I'd like to extend my congratulations to the Honorable Premier, Dr. Diolando Smith, and his team and I wish, them, I wish them well. I'd like to especially uh, congratulate the Deputy Premier, Dr. Kedrick Pickering, for his, he has ex ex exhibited a tremendous amount of patience. This is his, first, his fourth term being elected, and this is the first time he's seeking office. I, I, I see Dr. Pickering as, as a person who someday, in my mind, will be the Premier of the Virgin Islands. So I think that the National Democratic Party deserves, at this point, <coughs> the patience of the people in the territory. Or the people of the territory need to be patient with the National Democratic Party as they seek to do the work of the people. At Thursday's meeting, the future of the Virgin Islands Party was questioned. Honorable O'Neill made it clear that he will not be pushed out of politics, but that he and God will know when the time comes for him to step out. When the time is up, I will retire. I am not going to wait for the party to push me out, you know, or for anybody to push me home. I, I think I, 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 with the help of my master, I manage my life. Meanwhile, former Minister for Natural Resources and Labour and 6th District Representative Omar Hudge, who was defeated at the polls by NDP newcomer Alvaro Maduro Keynes, said that he believes he will retire after having served the territory for the past 32 years. Yeah, I think it's time <clears throat> because I had this, this, this term slated at my last term. Um, and I've been fighting for 32 years and I've been sitting and watch. And if I have the support in the next general election, that I can do. But right now I haven't, I don't have in my mind as to be fighting again as a candidate. I don't feel that way. That will be up to the people when the time comes. Each of the other VIP representatives also offered their congratulatory remarks to the newly elected NDP government, pledging their support in whatever way they could, including Honorable Andrew Foy, representative for the 1st District, who said that it would make no sense for the VIP to try to point out where they went wrong during the campaign trail. But what must happen is the party must regroup 
and look at the way forward. The VIP met on Thursday afternoon to decide who would be the leader of the opposition. Their decision would be presented to the governor. For JTV News, this is Walter Barrett.